What's up, everybody? This is White, aka Incubator here, and I love you. And I'm bringing the uh, the interview of Dust Class Ratchet from the Nest spin-off Global Alliance line for Revenge of the Fallen. Came on the new Ratchet figure, finally, finally. But uh, this guy's been into a deluxe class. So yeah, I don't have my um, my Voyager class one from the first movie. Back away in a tub over there on a shelf buried under some other Transformers. So I don't feel like getting it out. So this review is going to suffer. But, um, deluxe class ratchet. Now, here we have him in his uh, Hummer H2 mode. Now, I've just got the toy right here. You'll see some stress and cut marks. What I had to do was, see, when I, um, I'll tell you how this happened later, but yeah, th that's there for a reason. I'll explain. Um, it's going to be hard to describe and explain now. But he's got uh, some f fair amount of details. got panel lines, but he's got his uh, search and rescue thingy right here. Last line. Um, little wheel caution thingy. A lot symbol in the circle. So um, pretty movie accurate designs. Um, except all his robot junk. If you get all the robot junk um, underneath here, just fine. He'll... Add it. I had it, I had it a minute ago. There it is. Roll spare. Got a spare tire. He's got some, he's actually got a better um, back piece, a lot better back um, part than first movie Voyager, or any Voyager, I guess. I just, I own the first movie one because the second one looked like crap. But I may be picking up, um, like that Night Op, not Night Op, so Spy Ops, I don't know. But yeah, come with a little gun thing. Shoot CMP, blah, blah, blah that side and yeah he's pretty cool and I like him size comparison I've got this one covered this time Bam. looks like skids now you see where these things are about the same height this guy is a Chevy beat or no they were they switched it to spark Chevy spark this is a Hummer H2 how much are big gigantic gas guzzling mofos and this is a little tiny sports car out of scale but I'm uh, not surprised on Hasbro's part. Anyway, to transform this mother trucker, you want to take his uh, feedums, kind of pull them out. This is at least how I started off. Pull the little spiky thingies out. Chica chica. Boom, boom, like that. Then you go back here. And you take these things. And yeah. And you raise them. Or you pull them, I guess. Pull this, raise it. Pull that in, pull that in, pull that down. Right. Now, you can take his little feet and pull them down, or his legs. You go in here, you can take his door parts, right here, and split them. Now, take his body and rotate it. Now, be careful not to pop anything off, pop off his arms or anything, but it will get stuck and switched and blah, and it's a mess. Take it like that and put it back in. Like that. Like the movie accurate kind of spin thing. Take it all this up. Pull that in, pull that down. Well, you might want to wait for that. It should still work. Just keep them up a little bit. Go over here, rotate these around. But there you got Ratchet. Not really. But I take his little thing, pull it down. And then pull it back right there. And blah. Pull these down, and this is where I went wrong the first time I transformed it. I pulled that back. Now this one, the plastic was a lot bigger, so I had to cut it down, and it stressed. So I effed it up. And then you pose them, and there you got. There you got Ratchet in his robot mode. Well, that mode is very, very nice looking. I'm impressed. I was actually, you know, I thought this figure would be bad at first. I thought it'd be mediocrely good. Um, but I'm really impressed. It's a pretty good figure. He's all, he's more of this off yellow than green. I prefer, I prefer to be green. Not as green as Skids, but as green as his first movie counterpart. Um, good detail, movie accurate detail. Um, got random auto lot somewhere right here, which I like. I like the random factions on these. I like them. Um, got his little... 
movie actor things. He does have he has no buzz saw, but he has the MP, which you stick it in here and it hooks all blah like. So yeah, Get the MP go bam, bam, bam. Um, articulation, head moves sort of, arms rotate. 360. Okay, they get hindered at some points. Up and er, in and out. Forward and back somewhat. Um, rotate the part of the arm, bend the elbow, and the hands move. No waist, but legs go forward and back, in and out. Bend to the knee, rotate the front of the knee, rotate the foot, and go in and out, sort of rotate, like I said, and go up and down at the thing. So you got quite a bit of articulation, and you can get some somewhat good poses out of them. So yeah, size comparison time. Bam! Lockdown. See, Lockdown's a bit of a taller guy. Um, but yeah. By the way, next review is gonna be Lockdown. Get out of here. But yeah. So yeah, Deluxe Class Ratchet. I recommend him. He's pretty, pretty decent figure. Sorry, such figure. But yeah, I like Ratchet, and uh, I'm impressed with the figure. Um, he's about tied for goodness, or good of a figure, with the Voyager one. So, pretty nice. But everyone you pick up, you won't be missing out. They're both great figures. Check out my Ratchet review, my Voyager one. Yeah, pretty cool figure. I recommend him. Um, if you guys enjoyed this sort of video review, check out my channel. Subscribe, comment, rate, favorite, whatever it is you want to do. And, um, oh, can't But yeah, and, um, I'll see you guys later. And, uh, I'm all crazy today. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's too much cocaine. But yeah, goodbye now. I'm going to go do something. So, bye. Thank you for watching, and BBTS at it, I guess. Hey, Whoa. do you guys like Spider-Man, horror movies, Batman, Naruto, G.I. Joe, Gundam, Transformers, Toy Story, Marvel Legends, as much as I do? Because if you do, then go to BigBatToyStore.com right now!